Business came to a halt in this part of Thika town that hosts Mount Kenya University and Thika Technical College as students from both institutions joined hands to demonstrate our rising insecurity that has now robbed them of a comrade who reportedly was a third year student pursuing an engineering course. On the night of death, he was on his way back to the institution. We, we just know he was killed like real badly. He was stabbed all over his face and all over his body. We have experienced so many security cases in Mount Kenya University. The first time two, a person was stabbed and killed and the second case happened on the, on the street, just killed, killed again a student. This is the third case. Traders would have to drop up early and secure their stock. Roads were rendered impassable as they were turned into a battleground. The police had a difficult time quelling the chaos and were forced to use tear gas to disperse the crowds of angry students. In the skirmishes, this student was shot in the neck. The police, however, have denied involvement, saying the officers only used rubber bullets. The thicker OCPD says they have already arrested one person in relation to last night's killing as investigations continue. The murder of the MKU student is the latest killing in universities in the country. Just recently, a third-year female student was raped and murdered in Moy University, Eldred. Students there staged demonstrations protesting the insecurity around their campus. Last year, another student of Malawian origin was murdered on his way back to St. Paul University in Tigoni, where he studied. Samigituko for Citizen, Weekend.